In this video, we're going to go over the roots, zeros, factors, solutions, and x-intercepts of polynomials and polynomial functions. Students often confuse these terms, so hopefully this will clarify things. We're going to take a very basic polynomial, x squared minus x minus 6. If we were asked to factor this, we can say the factors are the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 2. These two binomials multiplied together will give us this. Uh, if you, you know, remember back in maybe sixth grade where you learned about factors and factoring, uh, you could say, or look at the number six, you could say that two of the factors of six are two and three because the product of two and three is six, or two times three is six. So factors, uh, factors. There are things that when multiplied to give, together give us the number or the polynomial. All right, we have the same uh, polynomial. This time, though, we've turned it into a function. Okay, the factored function f of x is x minus 3 times x plus 2. To find the roots, we set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x. For instance, x minus 3 is 0. We set it equal to 0 and solve for x. Well, we'd add 3 to both sides, so we get x is 3. Same idea here. x plus 2 is 0. So we subtract 2 from both sides. We get x equals negative 2. So the roots of the function are f of the roots of the function f are x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. The roots and the zeros are the same thing. Uh, the zeros of the function are x is 3 and x is negative 2. Uh, another way to look at this would be to say, let's take this value of 3 and plug it in for x, okay? And we would get 3 squared minus 3 minus 6. Well, that's 9 minus 3 minus 6. So that's 9 minus 3, which is 6, which is 6, which is 0. Hence, it's a 0 of the function. It's also a root of the function. So, so far, we've got this function, f of x is x squared, and on and on. We found that the factors of this function are here. The roots are here and here, and the zeros, which is the same thing, are here and here. Okay, we'll take that same polynomial, this time This time, we'll make it into an expression, or rather, into um, an equality, or an equation, x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Uh, if it's an equation, then we can factor it and solve for x. We could graph it and solve for x. We could make an xy table of values, and where y is 0, we have a solution for x. We're not going to go into that. Uh, you can do that on your calculator. So let's just take this and factoring. Uh, this uh, equation, and we get, well, x minus 3 times x plus 2. And we set it equal to 0 because that's what it does indeed equal. By the zero product property, we solve for x, and we find that x is 3 and x is negative 2. So we say the solutions to this equation are x is 3 and x equals negative 2. So we can say So far, that the factors are x, the quantity x minus 3 and x plus 2. The roots are x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. The zeros are the same, and the solutions are the same. OK, let's look at graphing. Let's look at keeping it everything straight here. Let's look at graphing uh, this function. The x-intercepts will be or are the zeros or the roots of the solutions. So we can graph it. You can do this on a graphing calculator. You can plot points however you'd like. You're going to find that it crosses the x-axis at negative 2 as well as positive 3. It will cross the y-axis at negative 6. So the function f of x, x squared minus x minus 6, we have found out that we found the factors, we found the roots, we found the zeros, we found the solutions, and we found the x-intercepts.
So there are many ways to find the roots of a polynomial beyond what we've gone over here, uh, including synthetic division, and that would involve applying the remainder theorem or the factor theorem, Descartes' rule of signs, rational zeros theorem, and on and on and on. I've just gone over some, um, basically, the terminology so that you understand the difference between roots and factors, uh, that sort of thing. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.